Hi there friends, welcome to Mariel Beats and Beyond. Today we are going to be making this beautiful bracelet, adding the macrame as a closure. It's great. You can turn it into adjustable bracelet and it's really cool. I really like the end result and it's a really easy project to make. The materials are available in my website, marielbeatsandbeyond.com. So let's get started. We are going to pick up one yellow, one pink, and three yellow. We are going to bring them down and we are going to leave six or seven inches for the clasp. Our thread is exiting out of this bead. We are going to sew in a reverse direction through the first. We are going to pick up two yellow, one green, one yellow, and one green. Our thread is exiting from the top bead. We are going to skip the pink and we are going to sew up through the yellow. Our thread is exiting from here. These are the five beads that we just add. We are going to sew up through the second. We are going to pick up one green, one yellow, one pink, and two yellow. We are going to skip the green and we are going to sew up through the yellow. Our thread is exiting from here. We are going to skip the green and we are going to sew up through the yellow. Pick up two yellow, one green, one yellow, and one green. Our thread is exiting from here. We are going to skip the pink and we are going to sew up through the yellow. We are going to skip the first yellow. Our thread is exiting from here. We are going to sew up through the second yellow. Pick up one green, one yellow, one pink, and two yellow. Our thread is exiting from this yellow. We're skipping the green and we are sewing up through the yellow. We're skipping up the green. Our thread is exiting from here. We are going to sew up through the yellow. We are going to pick up two yellows, one green, one yellow, and one green. Our thread is exiting from the yellow. We are skipping the pink and we are going to sew up through the yellow. We are skipping the first yellow and we are going to sew up through the second yellow. And we are going to continue repeating this step until we finish the length that we need. And I'll be right back to show you the next step. I have the length that I want. Okay, I have five inches because I want to make a six inches bracelet. So we are going to pick up one green, one yellow, one pink, and two yellow. We are skipping up the green and we are going to sew up through the yellow. 
we are skipping the green and we are sewing up through the yellow. We are going to pick up two yellow and we are going to sew down through the yellow. We are going to flip our work. We are going to sew through one yellow. We are going to pick up five yellow. Our thread is exiting from this bead. We are going to sew through the same bead. We are going to continue through four more beads. We are going to pick up a pink bead. We are going to sew through the first bead out of the five beads that we had. And this is what you gotta have. We are going to sew through the green bead. We are going to pick up two yellow and one green. Our thread is exiting from this bead. We are going to sew through this bead that is sticking out. We are going to pick up a green bead and we are going to sew through the first yellow bead that we add. We are going to sew through the next yellow. And we are going to pick up three yellow beads. We are going to sew up through this bead. We are going to pick up a pink bead and we are going to sew up through this bead. And right now we are going to sew around to come down up here so we can add our clasp. Continue to the yellow bead. Come down through the yellow bead. We are going to sew down through the green and through the yellow. You don't want to be tidying your threads too much because you want to keep the same shape. And we are going to sew through this bead. But right here I'm going to sew through these two beads. I want to sew through this one as well. And I'm going to sew around these two. And I'm going to sew through this one. So the way I want to finish my bracelet I want to finish it with cord. I like to add like a closure like this. I'm going to add a wire guardian. If you want to use a clasp, you can insert your clasp into the wire guardian so it's the same. We are going to pick up a pillow bit and I'm going to sew through this bit. I'm going to open my wire guardian just a little bit and we are going to sew through the hole. Now remember if you add in a clasp this is the time that you want to add your clasp. 
If you don't have a wire guardian, you can just add five or six bits right here and make a loop. We are going to sew through the second hole and we are going to sew through this bit. And we are going to sew through the other two bits. And we are going to reinforce. And to reinforce, I like to come through these two flowers. For me, I think it's, it's good. So I'm going to sew through these three beads. We are going to continue around. I'm going to sew through these two. I'm going to continue through these two. So through one more. I'm going to sew through four more. We are going to sew through the pink. Through the yellow. And we are in position to continue. So right now I'm going to pick up two yellows and a green. I'll try to exit in from the green. We are going to sew through the bead that is sticking out. We are going to pick up a green and we are going to sew through the first yellow that we add. We are going to continue through the next yellow. We are going to pick up three yellow. Sew through this yellow. And we're going to pick up a pink bead and sew up through the first yellow. And we need to continue repeating these steps until we get to the other side. We are going to add our clasp if you want to add a clasp or your wire guardian. And I'll be right back to show you how we're going to close it. If you choose to add a class, you should be done with your bracelet. I 
I am done. I finished the row and I added the other side of the wire guardian. I'm going to use this cord to finish it. So we're going to grab three pieces of eight inches. We are going to pass the cord through the wire guardian. And we are going to pass these two ends through the middle. And this is what we have. I'm going to pass my cord one more time through the middle and I'm going to bring it through the center like this and we're gonna do the same with this one and through the center like this and we're gonna do it one more time We are going to repeat on this side. We want to make sure that our bracelet is not twisted. And we are going to put our laces together and we're going to grab the other part. And we are going to put it on top. We are going to pass it under. And through the middle and we are going to oops pull there you go so we are going to pull this so right now we are going to put this one on top and this one on top and under and through the center and we're gonna pull and continue and you're going to make as many as you want to. It looks different. I think it gives a really cool look. So I really love it. So we are going to put a... So I'm going to put a bike on. So put a bike on in and made a knot. And right here we're just going to burn the edges. But before that I want to add some more. Maybe... Three more. Right here what I like to do for my projects, I like to put glue and I like and then I burn it. I put some glue in here. And then I put some glue in here. Thank you. 
So I'm just gonna go ahead and add the crystals. And we are done with the bracelet. So I hope you guys like this tutorial. I hope it was easy to follow along. If you like my videos, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and share my videos with your friends. Until next time, thank you.